In my research for the past few years, I've interviewed 200 plus of the most creative leaders on planet Earth, trying to figure out how they ask the right questions, because asking questions is key to getting the right answers. One of these individuals was Ed Catmull. He excelled at creating the conditions that cause him and others at Pixar and at Disney to ask questions other people didn't ask, to make movies other people weren't making. Let me share with you one of those conditions that Ed Catmull and the senior leaders created early on in Pixar's history. You've got directors who are great at creating these stories that lead to these movies that are blockbuster, Oscar-winning movies. But every movie as a story at the beginning is horrible. In their terms at Pixar, it sucks. And what they have to figure out is a way for a director who's at the top of her or his game to get feedback about this initial idea and make it better. So they have what they call a brain trust, where essentially the director comes into the room, shows other directors where they are currently in the movie, could be an extremely first idea about the movie, extreme sort of first idea about the movie, and what they know walking into that room where the brain trust exists is that the other people in the room are obligated to give that director all of the positive and negative feedback they can possibly imagine about the idea or the movie as it currently exists. For those directors walking in there pitching their ideas, most of the time the story is their story. It's partly their personal history. So they're now getting feedback not just on the story, but on who they are as human beings. These meetings last two or three hours long. They are deeply uncomfortable. Questions get asked that otherwise they wouldn't get asked, and the, the director who's getting all of this leveled at them, their job is to simply listen, take it all in. The, the producers who work with the directors told me they have to prime and prep these directors emotionally to get ready to go into those meetings because they're so exhausted by the end. It just takes it all out of them. But they do it because it makes the story better. It builds an idea into something better. They do it over and over and over because they know at Pixar that the way they can ask questions and push the envelope or the edge of movie making is to be in situations where they're super uncomfortable, they ask and get asked questions that otherwise wouldn't get asked to build ideas into something they otherwise wouldn't be.